One of the other problems that uh, I get a lot of people asking me about is apple scab. We've talked about this a few times. I've put a couple of videos out there in the past just on apple scab. Again, if you go to wasconursery.com backslash learn, you can grab our uh, apple scab treatment instructions. But apple scab and many other fungal diseases appear later in the season, but they have to be prevented. There's no treatment for them in mid-season. So things like um, anthracnose and tar spot and apple scab, uh, you know, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, powdery mildew, th some things like that. All of those types of things really need to be prevented rather than treated after the fact. If we wait until we start to see the yellow spots and the leaf drop on from apple scab, we've waited too long. So uh, apple scab uh, treatment is going to begin when the leaves are about, you know, one quarter to one half of their full size. I always like to use uh, the my nail, the nail on my pinky finger as a guide. When the leaf is about that big, that's about the time to spray. Reason being is you need some leaf surface for that chemical to get uh, attached to. And what we're going to recommend is either Mancozeb or uh, Infuse or anything with uh, chlorothalonil. Um, or propiconazole. So those are all um, active ingredients. We use Infuse. Uh, it's really a very easy to use product. This one you just attach to the hose and spray the tree. We also have it in a uh, in a concentrate form. So if you have your own sprayer or if you want to use you know mix it yourself, you can do that. Um, we're going to start spraying when the leaves are the size of the nail on my pinky finger. We're going to wait about 10 to 14 days and spray a second time. We're going to go another 10 to 14 days and spray a third time, and then a fourth time 10 to 14 days after that. So four total applications, 10 to 14 day intervals using Infuse. It's really, really effective. Um, right at the start here, I said, you know, we're experiencing a little more moisture this year than we had last year, and the days are colder. I don't know that it's going to stay that way, but that's certainly the track record or, you know, kind of the, um, what we're experiencing. So that tends to lend itself, unfortunately, to a rough year for apple scab. Last year being a dry spring, when April and May were as dry as they were, we saw very low infection rates of apple scab, which was nice uh, for sure. But again, there were some other issues with that down the road in terms of just drought stress on plants. So um, the other thing I always like to mention with um, specifically the older varieties of crab apples, because a lot of us have them, uh, we inherited a several 30 or plus year old crab apples, some old varieties. They're beautiful trees, but those old varieties are more prone to apple scab than the newer varieties that we're growing and selling now. So the other things that you can do to keep your trees healthy are sanitation and fertilization. So sanitation is two things. One, when the leaves fall off the tree in the summer and in the fall, you want to rake those up and get them out of there. The uh, apple scab uh, fungus overwinters on the leaves on the ground. And then when the weather conditions are right in the spring with rain, you know, uh, cooler temperatures and moisture, that uh, fungal spore shoots back up onto the tree from the ground. And so if those leaves and debris are removed from the tree, you're going to lessen the amount of active uh, apple scab spores that are in, in the area. So that's number one. Number two thing in sanitation is gonna be just kind of cleaning the tree out. Um, so if you have a really dense canopy, if you have any dead wood in the plant, or if you just kind of thin, you know, maybe take 10 or 12, 15% out of the tree to provide for better airflow, that will also improve the overall health of the tree because the leaf surface will dry faster after periods of rain or, uh, or moisture. So the leaf surface has to stay wet in order for apple scab to infect that tissue. So if the leaf can dry quicker, uh, you're going to have a lesser infection rate. So those are the couple things there. And then fertilization is just important for keeping the tree healthy. If the tree has lost its leaves year after year because of apple scab or lost its leaves early year after year because of apple scab, then the tree tends to be weakened. And so we want to feed the tree, keep them at their optimum health, just like humans or other animals. The healthier the, the animal or plant is, the better it can fight off infection or rebound from infection and different things like that. So that's apple scab.